They like to claim it was the natives on the warpath threatening our nation But in truth it was the invaders who were at war with the natives Trying to wipe out their cultures while forcing assimilation As second class citizens for the indigenous populations Those resisting were forced to give up their land or they killed them Craving the natural resources they did anything to get them Enslavement for the men and sex slavery for the women The colonies in the Americas and Australia had the system Cause rich Europeans and their descendants did this for centuries during colonialism When the indigenous people would fight against them The colonists would start pretending that they're the victims But how do you steal entire continents? How do you steal entire continents? How do you kill off their inhabitants? Then claim that you're the victim. I bet they never told you Europeans were scalping since the Romans And both the colonists and the natives scalped each other for tokens In fact, both the Mexican and American governments Offered bounties to scalping natives To the late 1800s Cromwell sent thousands of Irish to Barbados Through slavery and natives were also enslaved to the 1780s, the South American colonies only stopped because the Vatican said the only righteous form of slavery was that of Africans. Adopting the Talmud's curse of Cain and virtually all Abrahamic denominations claim black people were destined for this enslavement, enabling many races for generations, but... How do you build slave colonies? How do you keep slave colonies? Like Jamaica, Barbados, and Haiti Then claim that you're believers, huh? I would think they'd know Tell me why so many had to die But the less they know The more that they can lie When the Somerset case in 1772 Into slavery in England Abolitionists tried to extend this Throughout the British Kingdom Only then did our wealthy slave-owning men of business And their Freemason friends decide to fight for independence Later called the founding fathers They cried for rights and liberty Even though they oppressed the natives Blacks were slaves and women were property And most white males were workers or indentured servants they couldn't vote but the founders needed the numbers for their purpose using war propaganda they launched a successful rebellion by convincing workers to join them even though those who helped them still had no voice under the articles of confederation but the founders got their nation now they can set the sights on the natives so then they continued with their invasion breaking the will of the natives through subjugation taking the sacred lands no compensation defaced them with plantations and mining operations how did you think they built this country how did you think they made their money on the backs of slaves and those in poverty then act like nothing happened but i would think they'd know tell me why so many had to die but the less they know the more that they can lie I would think they'd know Tell me why so many had to die But the less they know The more that they can lie